Hey, what's up, Gemini? How are you? Thanks so much for watching. Gemini, this is going to be your read for the second half of November of 2018. Now, I am doing this a little bit differently this last half of the month um, because it is the busiest time of year with Thanksgiving and the holidays, the rest of the holidays coming up towards the end of the year. So, Gemini, um, in order for me to make sure that I do get uh, both your general and your love readings out consistently, I am putting them both in this video since they cover the same time frames anyway. I usually put them along the same time frame. So this reading will cover from the 16th through the 30th of November, both your general and your love and romance. I will timestamp your love and romance reading if you're not interested in the general and you can just skip straight forward into your love and romance. However, if you are interested in watching the general, stick around. I'm about to, I'm shuffling right now for that reading. So what is the strongest message here that Gemini needs to know for the second half of November of 2018? Whoa. What is the strongest message that Gemini needs to know? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the clarifying messages for Gemini? What messages can clarify this reading for Gemini for the second half of November of 2018? What messages can provide Gemini with clarity in this reading? And what last piece of advice can Gemini take with them on their journey through the second half of November for general? What last piece of advice can Gemini? All right. It flipped over, but I didn't see it. But I wanted to make sure it came out. All right, Gemini. Thanks for being very patient with me. We're two minutes in. So... You've got the fool. So Gemini, you guys are definitely at the very fresh beginning of something. I really feel like there's a new start ahead for you guys. Um, at this point, you may realize it, you may not. Um, so throughout the second part of November, um, you guys are going to be either presented with a brand new start, a brand new journey, a brand new fresh something, if you haven't been already. Um, you may even be creating an opportunity for a fresh start for someone, okay? So that energy, I mean, this energy with the fool coming out really, uh, right there, Gemini, I'm really feeling like this is really open, um, really open energy, really ready to just really accept what universe, what spirit has available for you here, Gemini. Um, it's a very strong card. It's a... Um, uh, it's a it's a it's an initiation card. You may be starting something new, like a new job or a new career, or just considering something new, Gemini. So let's see how this plays out. This is like this could go anywhere. <laughs> okay, so the King of Cups. So I think that in the past maybe you are coming out of like I'm feeling like you're coming out of an isolation or you're coming out of um, this mode where you know you aren't just so like in your feelings but I don't want to say in your feelings like in a bad way I just want to say just like you know you're not just so much with the feels um you know you're um not necessarily being guided by your emotions right now maybe before there were a lot of things that you had to strategize and consider about the way you feel about certain things and I mean Gemini that is natural I just think right now what's happening here is that you're ready to move forward from that and you know ready to start something brand new and something fresh um I'm feeling more so like you're ready to start back over from the bottom from or I'm feeling like maybe you uh in a way, you could be in a very, like, high position somewhere, and, like, you're practicing this, like, you're starting a new journey of, like, maybe humbling yourself, um, or, you know, maybe becoming just a little bit more humble here. Mm, okay, so now we have the Ace of Cups being right here. So with the Ace of Cups, yeah, um, you're definitely moving forward into something that you have a lot of compassion for, something that you really have a lot of... Uh, just love for it all together. So this could just be like maybe something very artful, Gemini, that you're maybe moving forward into. I think um, it could have something, it could deal with any anything that 
drives people's emotions. Um, Gemini, I think that you're just really moving forward into something that's going to be very emotionally driving for you. Okay. Um, and it's going to help you deal with uh, any um, insecurities also, I feel. I think that maybe with the fool, you may be taking a step into um, dealing with, you know, your own cup. You know, you're the king of cups here. So you want to deal with your emotions in a certain way. And this, the way to do it is to start from ground one, to start with, through, with the ace of cups. So maybe this is just a guide to maybe you're starting a journey to uh, um, understanding yourself more emotionally, mastering your emotions. Oh, my God. With the Eight of Pentacles there. Yeah, Gemini. Um, you, your journey, I think, is going to be more about you putting in um, the necessary dedication to figure out what it is that you mostly care about um, to figure out. Um, and, and it is a strategy. You know, you're strategizing the best way to do that because you know that you're ready. You know that you're on the path to some sort of self-discovery. You know that there's something more here to learn. Okay. It could be a, even a more spiritual path because now with that from the king of cups, where do you go, right? You know, you're at the highest court card there. Where do you go? So next we're about to spill. <laughs> you get one more ace of cups. You're about to spill over into the major arcana, man. So for some of you, like, you know, I feel like you're you're just at this moment right now where you're um, just really contemplating um, your emotional journey right now and... Um, maybe for some of you are like just I don't know it's like I don't want to say that you're trying to mature into something um because with the king of cups it does come off very this very mature vibe maybe you're trying to follow the example of a mature person that maybe could have been a water sign that you know have given you you know all of the things that you need within you to be able to be emotional or be um, someone who acts with their emotions. And I think that maybe you're, you could be working hard to live up to a particular role model, Gemini, if that's you. Seven of Cups. So I think with the Seven of Cups being down here at the bottom under the fool, there could be a lot of distractions around you, Gemini. Um, you know, you know with the eight of pentacles that there's only one way to go about doing this um whatever it is for you that you're trying to go about doing gemini you know that there's only one way to do this but i think that you feel like there's are a, a lot of or you, if even if you don't know it or not there are a lot of uh, in, uh, distractions that are around you that could be clouding your judgment okay because it's like listen you're it's like you're moving towards this cup here with this dove that's running over that represents pure love undying love overflowing love right but then at the same time it's like you're also being presented with all these other shiny cups here that has all these other different things in it you know and they could be good they could be bad they could be whatever you know what i'm saying so it's just like you know um but i think this is just saying gemini that you know a lot of your journey for the second half of november is going to be learning how to stay focused with the eight of pentacles um learning how to stay focused on what goal you have already uh established um you may some of you may be reaching the end of that goal um or some of you may be approaching the threshold into starting a brand new goal but in either scenario there's distractions that are around that are either keeping you from finishing that development or there's distractions around that are keeping you from you know uh moving forward into that development wholeheartedly in your present environment the nine of wands so i think a lot of you could be allowing um a lot of you could be allowing like maybe things from the past to get involved um, with the nine of wands. I just really feel like, you know, you there's this you're guarded here um, for whatever reason. Um, and I think with the nine of wands and then the and the fool and the king of wands, uh, king of cups rather being right here all together in a row. This is giving me the vibe that you guys um 
this is giving me the vibe that you guys could be like just remembering something that someone said. It could have been a piece of encouragement that someone said that still gives you the strength to stay here and, you know, uh, and stay steadfast, you know, in spite of all the distractions and all the work that you have to do. You know, this could be the person, you know, you're looking back at uh, encouragement that was given to you from, you know, maybe somebody that you look up to. Um, but also for some of you, this could be just you maybe looking back at, you know, regrets from the past and just maybe taking a second to say, okay, you know, um, how can I not do that again now that I've gotten to this point and now that the, these there's these distractions that are about, now I need to guard myself from them. Okay, and this, I mean, it may be a mixture of both. You having to guard yourself from the distractions that are around you so that you can stay steadfast. But at the same time, you know, yeah, you could be remembering just some words of encouragement, words of pure love, pure, like just pure good advice that someone has given you. You're looking back at that and you're remembering that and you're like, you know what? Yeah. And that could be advice from however long ago. The Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords, you know exactly what it is that you need to do, Gemini. You know what it is that you need to do. Now, do you feel as though, you know, are you ready to really do it, though, is the question. Um, you know that you um, need to cut out certain distractions here. I think that uh, with the Queen of Swords here, you are aware of the certain distractions that are around you, Gemini. If you're pressing forward towards a brand new goal... You know the distractions that are around you that you're going to have to work hard to get out of. But you don't, won't have to work as hard if you just go ahead and cut those distractions out. And then that leads you right to the path of, you know, that pure cup, that pure choice, that pure goal that you wanted all along um, without being distracted by all these other imitation, imitation type cups, you know. Being distracted by all these little imitation type things that see you with your head down, hard working. That's like, oh, okay, he's barely looking. He's in too much into his work. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, make him think that I'm the cup. To trick you. However that fits to you. I'm just putting it like. Like this, that way, you know, it more it's more relatable. You guys can really fill in the blank to however this works to you. But with the Queen of Swords here, you know that if you just cut out all these other distracting ass cups, you can actually focus on the main goal that you've had all along. Okay. Now, in the outcome card, we've got justice. <laughs> so it's this is meant for you. This is meant for you, Gemini. This is meant for you to happen. Uh, this is meant to happen for you. <gasps> Excuse me. OK, it's 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 almost like it's about time. Right. I feel like spirit is saying it's about time, Gemini. It's about time you feel a sense of freshness and openness where anything is possible. But in that, OK, while you're feeling like everything is fresh and everything is open and anything is possible, you have to understand in that moment. Yes, anything is possible. OK. And so not only does this with the full card leaving you open, fresh and green, you know, not only does that leave you, you know, uh, not only does it afford you opportunities that are good and, you know, um, you know, things to come your way that are good. But, you know, it's also about the things that are also going to be coming your way. You know, the bullshit that's going to be coming your way as well. Gemini It also leaves you open for that. And I think that you know that as well. And so that's why you still remain guarded. And with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands, man, this is telling me that, you know what, you're ready to set guard. You're ready to sit guard and you're ready to identify anything that comes your way that is not of what you originally are trying to go for. So it's like there's distractions around Gemini if you don't know it, but you're not, you know, if you do know it, I don't think you're really paying that much attention to it. And it's to the point to where they may even become a nuisance and you just cut it out of your life altogether. And with the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, and then the Justice card being right there, I just really feel like, yeah, this is Spirit saying, you know what? It's about time, Gemini, that you really get some of what is owed to you. You know, you have worked very, very, very hard. You have, you know, I don't really think that, Gemini, you've complained about maybe having to start over from scratch sometimes. But, 
I think that what this is saying is that this is about time that you really do um, get what it is you desire, Gemini. However, you have to really identify what the things that um, could distract you from that goal. Okay. Now, to clarify, we've got the Ten of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Four of Cups. Hmm. Okay. So with the Ten of Cups, so because uh, I was getting excited until I saw the Four of Cups, but with the Ten of Cups, right? So this is basically saying that. Um, you know, this potential, these, you know, these potential uh, cards here as they are laying out could lead to some sort of like grand emotional fulfillment, um, complete emotional fulfillment. You know, it could lead to that. Definitely. It could lead to, um, you know, that ace of cups could lead to that ten of cups because, again, you're already at the king of cups. And so now you have the ace. So now you've gone back to the ten. And you remember, I, I think I said that a little bit earlier here in the reading with the king of cups to the ace of cups. You know, like anything higher than the king of cups just goes right into the major arcana, which is where you need to be anyway with the justice card right there, balancing out everything right here where you kind of end up where you need to be with the Ten of Cups there, but not, you know, but just more fulfilled because you blocked out all of the distractions, um, all the roads and the things that you cut out. And see, there's no mistake here that the Queen of Swords falls in line next to the Judgment card because what this is telling me here is that, you know, you really do, Gemini, take your own energy, that air energy right here with the Queen of Swords and you really do follow um, what it is that, you know, you know you need to do. You know, you make the proper call here. You review the things that are going around. You may even review, take a review of these distracting cups here. You know, the things that have you clouded in your judgment, maybe, you know, just to make sure if some of you just feel like you just needed to just make sure. Right. But ultimately, I think that the goal that you have wanted since forever is where you're striving for and where you're working for. Now, yeah, you might take time to entertain these distracting ass, you know, little ideas and everything. And maybe that has been a, a point of um, of uh, hindrance here for you with the four of cups, because I really feel like with the four of cups coming up here in the future um, for clarification, this is just saying that for a lot of you, um, it carries the energy of you like kind of being closed off to anything new, um, being closed off to um, like any new prospects of anything that seems to be good. Um, but I think that it's, you're doing that because not because you're trying to be mean or anything, but it's just like you like, you know what? I can't accept any more offers like I can't I can't accept any more offers like I can't accept any more like uh, I I. You know, I literally cannot like I am working towards a particular goal here and I've cut certain things out. And I think that with the four of cups here, this is saying that even still through this, I think spirit is still going to be trying to give you nuggets. And I think that you're going to have to just kind of discern with the judgment card. You're going to have to discern and decipher what is usable through spirit, because I think that you're going to naturally reject some of that because it's not lining up exactly how you feel like what that goal is. OK. And I think with the seven of cups being there with the four of cups and the nine of wands, yeah, you're definitely going to be having to really like look back at some of the things that maybe spirit has offered you, because I think that some of that stuff you may can use toward working toward the ultimate goal. OK, which is that complete emotional fulfillment there, Gemini. And then your final piece of advice, the wolf, beware of who you trust. Yeah, and that falls in line definitely with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is not trusting, okay? Yeah, she's warm, she's gentle, but at the same time, you know, she means business. And she's going to definitely cut you out of your life if she does not trust you. Now, with this being saying, the wolf is letting you know that you do have to be, you know, the wolf is very cunning. The wolf is very smart, okay? So you are going to have to be very smart here. Even though you do have the full card up under it, I think that maybe for some of you, you aren't as, you're not going to be as naive as maybe other people think you are in this situation maybe distracting outside forces um you know they possibly may underestimate exactly um you know where you fit in the chain of like in the food chain of of your iq or something like that i just really feel like they're just going to underestimate you um and you know secretly you're really just going to be kind of like you know moving closer and closer and closer towards your success but at the same time um you know keeping an eye open for um 
you know, just keeping an eye open for things that you can take with you that are going to help you and aid you in that journey to your own emotional fulfillment. Okay, Gemini. So, you know, this might not even play out um, through uh, the end of November. I mean, it is a still very positive reading, but um, this just may be with the journey just beginning here with the fool. This might really not play out. Maybe I'm looking, I'm maybe toward closer towards New Year's. I'm getting, I'm really feeling that. Um, I'm feeling a sense of fireworks here with the Ten of Cups. So, um, yeah, so I'm really interested in seeing how that's going to play out for you guys. Um, you guys really got to let me know, okay? I'm excited. Um, that was a really positive reading there. I, I loved it, okay? So, going to put that there, Gemini. Now, we're going to move over to your love and romance reading. So, if you're just joining me here and you time jump to me for the love and romance, thank you so much for joining me. Um, this will be your love and romance reading for the second half of November of 2018. It's going to cover roughly the 15th through the 30th. I do apologize for being late with these readings. Um, this is the busiest time of year for me. So, uh, that's why you are getting a double read um, or kind of like a mashup of your reads. Um, you know, just to conclude for November. I may do it like that for December as well because it is still Christmas season and I will be traveling. So you guys may get your general and your love and romance reading uh, twice a month, twice a month, but together as opposed to four times of separate readings. Okay, so thanks Gemini for being patient with me. And yeah, um, what is the strongest message that Gemini needs to hear for love and romance? Love and romance, what is the strongest message for Gemini? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And my card under the deck. You guys, don't let me forget. Because <laughs> I be forgetting to look at that card. And then all my advice cards would be out. And I'll be like, oh, crap. The card that was under the deck. I forgot. The underlying card. All right, Spirit, uh, Romance Angels, what advice can we give for our Gemini for love and romance for the second half of November of 2018? What advice can we give for Gemini? Sorry, that looks really sloppy, but... Because I am putting both of your readings here in one video. I'm trying to be a little faster about it. So that's why I am pre-pulling all the cards. So that I can just go through the entire reading. All right, Gemini. Our last piece of advice in love and romance here for the second half of November of 2018. This one. All right, Gemini. So... You and your partner, or the person that's most on your mind. We've got the Three of Cups. Okay. And we've got Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Okay, so, Gemini, the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So, I'm really feeling like within this relationship, or with the person that you have most on your mind right now, um... I just really feel like you guys are are in a time of like celebration with the Wheel of Fortune here. You guys maybe are coming out of a time of misfortune and now it's a time to be celebrated. Um, so I'm getting a sense of like uh, a good time is is already coming around for you in your relationship. Like one of those moments where, you know, like we're th when, like the saying when it says, you know, when things are good, they're good. Now, with that being said, I'm not trying to indicate that, you know, you may have come out of some type of abuse or anything. However, that could be some of y'all's stories. I'm not going to say that that isn't, okay? That could be some of y'all's stories. You may have come out of some type of tribulation. And now with the Wheel of Fortune, it's a time of being of celebration here within this relationship, okay? So, um, and that tribulation could have been anything. But right now, this is telling me that right now the two of you celebrate each other. Um, and, and I like that. Um, things are going good, I feel. Uh, things, um, 
I do feel like, you know, maybe the both of you, Gemini, you and your person maybe um, <laughs> could be indulging in uh, just anything that makes you just feel good. Um, but there could be, I think there could be concerns of like maybe a little bit of overindulgence or like you don't want to overdo things. But things are good, though, for what I see right now. The two of coins. So with the two of coins um, showing up here in the past position, yeah, I really feel like this is the celebration period right now is coming out of a time where, you know, the two of you have really had to like balance some things out in your lives or even in your relationships where, you know, there could have been struggles, maybe like a tug of war of like, you know, the relationship versus the finances or, you know, the job versus you know, each other, maybe a little bit of separation and trying to balance that. Maybe um, a mixture of just you, Gemini, in independently trying to uh, balance your emotions versus, you know, keeping the status quo or keeping things afloat. Um, so we got to look at it that way as well. Maybe that could be the one or it could be the both of you. But I'm just getting a sense of like there was a... Uh, a there could have been a struggle. Um, somebody was really trying to, you know, just kind of keep things afloat barely. However, I think that things now may be a little bit better. Um, things are a little bit worth celebrating now. Um, for some of you, I just really feel like maybe possibly with the two of coins, it could be um, where like somebody had to give something up in order for something else to prosper. And that thing has really prospered and brought a lot of more fortune into the relationship. But let's see further. So the ten of coins. Yeah. So... Yeah, things that can definitely be a lot more stable now because you're not juggling um, two different extremes. Maybe you figured out a way with the Three of Cups here. Maybe you figured out a way like to um, to not necessarily have to balance two extremes, but to maybe gear things so that they kind of correlate more with each other and become a little bit more stable. And what I mean by that is for some of you, I don't know, maybe you've had to like just kind of rework things with the two of coins and the three of cups. Um, I feel like maybe you and your partner may have come together or maybe even that may have involved maybe an outside friend that just helps brings a little bit more stability here to the relationship. And it doesn't necessarily mean have to mean, you know, like in a polyamorous type of relationship or a third party relationship. Um, I don't really feel like that. I just really feel like maybe it's just a mutual friend that like just kind of helps give a little bit of support here so that you guys can enjoy your relationships more. So maybe if you guys have celebrated just having a new kid and that's what's bringing a lot of joy to your life, of course, that's going to come with this own set of challenges trying to balance those things out. I think that maybe some of you, Gemini, you do meet an earth sign, whether it's a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Um, that's able to help give you a little bit of um, solid ground to stand on. Um, and that could be, and it could be that as well, um, Gemini. I really feel like for some of you, you could be celebrating something on your own, um, maybe something good that has happened to you. However, you're still, you can't figure out how you're going to balance that good with what you already have going on. You may feel like you have to give that up or something up in order to keep what's good happening and rolling. But with the Ten of Coins there, I just really feel like, um, you know, there is a, a sense of support that is being given to you. And um, and I think that, you know, for some of you, if this does mean that you have to give something up, then, you know, if you have to give something up uh, in order to focus on your relationship and make things happier there, I think that the Ten of Cups allows you to be rewarded with having abundance in that one area versus struggling in two. And we have the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, that brand new idea. Yeah, definitely. Um, somebody gets that idea with the Ace of Swords. Um, somebody has that idea like, okay, listen, Eureka, you know, this is what's going to work here. Maybe I need to put something down. Maybe I need to... Um, You know, maybe I need to, um, you know, recognize or celebrate, um, you know, one thing or trying to, versus trying to do too much. I just really feel like there's a sense of an idea of like for some of you, you are really trying to make sure that you can handle everything and your relationship. But something has to give um, for some of you. I think that you may have to lean. You may be expected to lean 
more on your partner to help support you. Um, so like for some of you, I think that if you're celebrating having like a new baby, I'm just, I don't know why I keep feeling a new baby that, but if some of you, if you're celebrating having a new baby, I think that the struggle here is you saying, okay, um, can I rest on the support of my partner, um, you know, while, you know, things, you know, while he does or while she goes out and does whatever. And I really feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups, I think that's going to be good for you. I think that that is going to be good for you. It's going to be good for the relationship, if that's the case. And then now we have the Seven of Swords. Oh, wow, Gemini. I was just about to say, okay, but with the Seven of Swords, now the Seven of Swords could mean various things, okay? Gemini, this could be just, I mean, this is your energy with the sword energy. This could speak to your shadow side a little bit. I think maybe your twin could be rearing its ugly head here. Not that you're ugly, Gemini. No, you're, you're definitely gorgeous. But, um, you know, you, you, you we all know that Gemini has that twin. I think that this um, is just kind of a little bit of your shadow side. It's just, it's like, okay, well, you know. You are ready to take advantage of that situation, but it might not even be in a shadowy way. I just think that it just may be saying that, you know, you do take advantage of being able to rest in someone else's support or in the support of something that is more grounded than what you've been able to contribute. And not to say that you've been contributing, you know, not to say that you ain't been contributing anything, Gemini. I just really feel like that for a lot of you, you know, it's a struggle of you're trying to do this and you're trying to do that, thinking that if you do both of those things, it's going to lead to that support. But however, I just really feel like that, um, or both of those things are going to lead to that lucrative, that you know, that, um, that abundance. But I think that with the two of, so two of coins being here, um, opposite of the seven of swords, I think that a lot of you will come to realize that it's only going to be through choosing one strong, solid thing, and then really going with that and celebrating that and putting your, all of your ideas into that and just taking advantage of that and running with it. Um, I think that, you know, you'll find that you'll be, it'll be easier for others, or it'll be easier for you to find the grounded support that you actually need because you're starting with something stable as opposed to starting with an imbalance in a way. Excuse me. So Gemini, however that fits to you, I think that the person that you're involved with, though, fits in here really, really perfectly because whether you're in separation or not, or whether you're with them or just dating them or not, I just think that it's still a really good time for you. They are very supportive of you and they're ready to see you shine. They're ready to celebrate with you and they're willing to follow any ideas that you have, maybe even contribute any ideas. And some of the ideas I think that Gemini you may be hearing is let me help. Let me help support, you know. Try not to stress with the two of coins. The two of coins can be very stressful. It's not saying that you've lost balance, but it's just saying that, you know, it's it's a, it's a, it's a challenge to try to work everything out on your own. You have to choose something in order for, you know, you want both things. You want something to really prosper and really, you know, you can't put focus into, you can't put 100% of something into two things. You're going to have to choose what that Ace of Coins is and then run with that. Oh, I almost see. It almost let me forget. So the card that was under the deck here we have is the Four of Swords. Yeah, sit down. Sit down, Gemini. Sit down. Sit back. The Four of Swords. This is your energy right here. Sit down and sit back. Let the people that are around you or let your partner be that support for you. It's their turn to help you. You help them so much here with the two of coins. You're trying to figure out how you're going to help them, how you're going to help yourself. Well, guess what, Gemini? Your partner is something to celebrate now. They've turned something around. Maybe an idea of their struck gold, and they're in a more supportive role for you now. Take advantage of that, Gemini. It's not bad. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so 
new love, I feel like this speaks to the more single Gemini's. I just really think that for a lot of you, if you're just really doing it on your own and you're out there doing it on your own and you know that you, you know, could use a little bit of help. I just really think that you could be, you know, opening yourself up for you to possibly meet that kind of helpmate. And I'm not to say that you're struggling and that it's a bad thing. Everybody struggles. Everybody goes through hard times. Everybody needs a little bit of help. Sometimes that help shows up in the form of a partner. It's not to say that you're a gold digger or anything, Gemini, and don't let nobody think that or make you think that. This is just what I'm seeing here, that the person that is there for you to help you in your struggles could show up as a new romantic partner here in the second half of November. So get ready for Thanksgiving. You might meet somebody at the Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Now, for those of you who are more established in your relationship, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That's, I mean, yeah, stay optimistic about things. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's there offering you saying, I want to be that solid force that you can walk on right now while you're getting things together, I can hold you down. Take it. Take that. I mean, discern it you know of course but you know it's what you needed and it's what you've been asking for on some degree here with the two of coins because you're trying to figure out how you're going to balance and now you have somebody that you love that's coming to you saying i'm ready to i want to help you i want to help you balance things you know i want us to do this together through faith we can keep things going the last card here is romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. So this is just this last piece of advice here, Gemini. This is just this thing that, you know, the person that you with or the person, person that you have most on your mind, it's okay to, you know, be romantic with them. Show them that you care. Show them that you still have affection for them. Now, of course, don't be breaking up no happy home if it's, you know, the person that you're thinking about is, you know, with somebody or anything. But, hey, that person could be showing you that, you know, you know, you might be opening yourself up to somebody coming to you, um, telling you that you want to be able to help, you know, and through, uh, through that you build this romance and it could be a vice versa. So Gemini, let me know how this all works out for you. I'm going to, I'm running out of time here, but I'm going to let you guys um, go, please. Uh, I love all the comments and the likes and the subscribes. More importantly, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can email me at luminantlibratero at gmail.com and we'll go ahead and get some correspondence going. All right, Gemini, you guys take care. I'll see you guys later. Bye.